Good morning, this is your astronomy report from amateur astronomer Francis Walsh. We're looking for the Kuiper Belt object Sedna. We're looking at the planet Neptune, at planet Neptune's moon Triton. We are searching through the skies, uh, making ourselves aware of truths, facts, and fallacies about the space outside our atmosphere. It is essential for our survival to use these powerful tools in the most humane and wise way. And the only way to guarantee that is not to shuffle the responsibility off to somebody else, but to make sure that every citizen understands science and technology to some extent. And that's as close as this uh, window picture and fax viewer will let me zoom in. But when I finally get the actual images in and I put it on... Here's the full color assembly of the RVB stacking of my images of Neptune done by Messier Hunter. I want to thank Messier Hunter for doing that for us. Here's some of the footage of the uh, way that I capture my images using itelescope.net. What you're looking at is the dashboard for my uh, user panel. Uh, coming up next, I have to go to, for objects like Sedna, to the International Astronomical Union's website, the minorplanetcenter.net. Go to the Minor Planet Center and get the active coordinates of the object you're looking for. Bring them back to itelescope.net, and you can begin to uh, run your image series looking for the objects that you're interested in. I'm interested in Kuiper Belt objects, I'm interested in comets, I'm interested in asteroids, so I'm using the International Astronomical Union's data to go back and retrieve images of these areas. Here you'll see the pictures being taken of Sedna. Uh, I'll continue on and then at the end of this video we'll show you what we found in the space where Sedna should be and let's get to that. And to end this edited version of what's going on with amateur astronomer Francis Walsh, we're going to be looking at the comparison images of the place where Sedna should be. I took images on July 20th and July 21st. On July 20th, I exposed the CCD image uh, to 60 seconds of light. Uh, on July 21st, I exposed the camera to 90 seconds of light, and I'm going to in continue to increase exposure, because I'll tell you, as of right now, I cannot see Sedna on my images. I can't tell you what the magnitude of Sedna is right now, but hopefully uh, I'll find out very quickly. And what I plan on doing is continuing to shoot the spot, the coordinates where Sedna is and increase our exposure until we find Sedna. It may take a week, it may take a couple of weeks, but following along this process I will continue to uh, extend my exposure time pointing at Sedna to see if I can find it. Now I did the astrometry on my July 20th images and the astrometry is good. The telescopes are pointed to where Sedna is or should be. So now it will be my task as the operator of the telescope to co get the correct exposure to find the object in the Kuiper belt. When I can find Sedna in the Kuiper belt using exposure lengths then you will know that I have the experience to find objects in the Kuiper belt. So follow along enjoy this uh, ride through the Kuiper Belt. Uh, not always uh, going to find things the first try. We're going to have to work the telescopes of itelescope.net in a way that you may not be experienced with and I may not be experienced with either this extending and shortening of exposure times to see farther and farther away from Earth uh, looking for the Kuiper Belt object Sedna. Have a great Saturday. I'll be heading to the farm to milk the cows this evening from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Have a great day.